I welcome this inquiry and it is important for me because as the former Secretary of Health, I share the pursuit for truth and transparency. Ang decision sa pagbili ng Degvaxia ay resulta ng dekadang pag-aaral at pagplano ng DOH. It is an institutional decision to address the public health need and a result of our consultation with experts, advocates, and medical professionals. Ang tanong po ng iba, hindi naman siya number one ay kinamamatay ng mga Pilipino. Tama po yun, sir. But when we were informed by DBM that there is a corresponding savings under the Miscellaneous Personal Benefit Fund, meron po kasing kategorya. Hindi po pwedeng pondohan yung existing and funded project for the 2016 budget. Kaya nga po maganda po, tanungin po natin ang mga, tega, mga direktor ng Department of Health. Ano po ang naging basihan nung kanilang mga proposal? Kasi hindi naman po isang bakuna lang ang request, apat po at yung iba nga po ay napondohan. Your Honors, since 2010, this has been very intense in the Department of Health. Ang hirap po nung isang doktor ka, nasa gobyerno ka, tatanungin ka ng mga nanay, Ang daming namamatay sa dengue, ang daming nagkakasakit. Ang tanong, may gamot ba? Wala. The go we are spending 16 billion per year just for dengue. Ano po ang dapat gawin ng departamento? Kaya ilang dekada na pong pinag-usapan ito, yes, it is not the number one cause of death. Ang tanong ba, yung ibang programa ba yan, napondoan ba ng gobyerno? Yes. May nagsasabi rin na yung mga bakunang iba worth 3 billion ay eh, kailangan Napondohan rin po yun, sir. Hindi po toto na hindi napondohan yan. At tama po, merong isang bakuna na pinapopondohan namin. Ito yung pneumonia vaccine. Yan po inirerekomenda ng Formulary Executive Council. Ipinaglaban po namin yan. Ngunit hindi namin masagot because it was under investigation by the Department of Justice. At nagkaroon nga sa problema nung binibili yan dahil sa pagkakarelay sa akin ng aking mga direktor and of course, I had a very intensive discussion with Dr. Meme Guerrero on that. Na explain niya sa akin na iba yung nanalo, iba yung kailangan, ang kailangan eh, PCV13, ang pinadeliver is PCV10. Gustuhin man po namin yun ang pondohan ng 3 billion, tali po ang kamay namin dahil inatasan po kami mag-explain bakit ibang bakuna ang binili sa pondo na inalaan para sa ibang bakuna. Moving forward, Your Honor. The Department of Health is an institution that is looking for the welfare excuse of the me, Filipino Janet, people. Me. Would you like sir. us to investigate that? Are you saying that? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I would All like right. that investigated. Okay, I would like to uh, take a look at that. If that is true, in fairness to everybody, we and will Your take Honor, a look if there is any discrepancy in the acquisition of pneumonia. It's the PCV13, uh, Your Honor. PCV13. Kasi yung po ang nangyare. Tatoto po, Your Honor. I agree with the Formulary Executive Council. Yung po ang isa sa kailangan naming bilhin. So balit nagkaroon po ng mga katanungan at yan po ang naging problema. Dito naman po sa usapang dengue, dalawa po ang pinapapondohan, the prevention of dengue and the dengue vaccination program. On the prevention of dengue, when I took over the Department of Health, nagkaroon po ng administrative order yung aking predecessor, si Secretary Ona, ukol sa isang gamot na gamitin rin po namin sa dengue. Subalit, nung ibigay ko yun at tanungin ko yung aking mga kasamahan sa Department of Health, marami po silang sinabi sa akin, pinaimbestiga po yun namin, at meron po kaming dokumento na pwedeng ibigay, kaya hindi po namin yun ma-roll out. Your Honor, when the Department of Health decided as an institution, it was not because it was a one-ton decision. When I asked the immunization program, Paano ba natin gagawin na yung mga bakunang available sa mayayaman, ibinibigay rin natin sa mahihirap? When the FDA granted its permit, yung kanyang Certificate of Product Registration, ang isang gamot o bakuna, pag nirehistro sa FDA at sinabig safe, syempre, ang pagkaintindi ng buong Pilipinas, hindi lang po, buong mundo, because this was registered in other countries as well, is it safe? In immunization, Lahat halos ng sakit na binabakunahan natin, binabakunahan natin yung wala pang sakit for lifetime protection. But in the case of dengue, the behavior is different because you have to vaccinate yung nagkasakit na at yung hindi pa nagkasakit, eh hindi mo babakunahan. Baliktad po ang naging behavior. 
ginawa po ng lahat ang makakaya ko bilang ina, bilang doktor, bilang DOH secretary na mabigyan ng ligtas na bakuna ang bansa. During my term, Your Honor, it's not only dengue vaccine. We started the cervical cancer vaccination for the poorest 20 provinces. We started the school-based booster doses for measles, rubella, tetanus, diphtheria, and pinalawak po natin yung flu and pneumonia vaccination ng senior citizens. At pinalawak rin po natin ang pneumonia vaccination ng mga kabataan. Your Honor, sa issue po ng pagbili ng bakuna, I categorically deny any wrongdoing. I am not involved in any corruption and I am willing to be investigated. Tama po, hindi po DOH ang bumili ng bakuna, Philippine Children's Medical Center ang bumili ng bakuna, but let me put it on record. Sa personal ko pong pagkakaalam, walang bahid ng korupsyon ang mga miyembro na pinagkatiwalaan natin na bids and awards committee ng Philippine Children's Medical Center. It has never come into my attention to question their integrity. In as far as I know, the PCMC operates on transparency and its dealings are all above board. Nung nagkaroon po ng katanungan ng Anju Hayes, during the time of Secretary Ubial, this was investigated. The Integrity Management Committee report is there. It was composed of many reputable directors inside the department and Secretary Ubial is very much aware of that. I gave Secretary Duque a copy of that just recently para po naman matingnan natin yung buong kwento from start to finish. Because hindi po ito anecdotal, yan po e base sa mga records sa loob at labas ng departamento. Wala pong naging undue haste sa desisyon na ito. Kung sa kasakali mang merong mga impormasyon na itinago ng Sanofi sa Department of Health, Sino ba namang mag-aakalang magtatago sila ng impormasyon dahil ang amin pong mga meetings sa kanila? I admit I was not personally present in all meetings. I was just there in very few meetings because I rely on the internal and external experts of the Department of Health. I have full trust and confidence in the Department of Health, Your Honor. Minamalisyahan man ang iba, marami po ang magagaling sa loob and I empathize with them in the demoralization that's happening. Hindi lang naman po Pilipinas ang nag-uusap when this was being done. It was a group of 11 countries na magkakasama pong nagmi-meeting. Kung nagsinungaling man ang Sanofi, hindi lang po sa amin, pati sa ibang bansa at sa World Health Organization, eh dapat naman po talagang managot sila. Hindi po na sila lang, marami pa po ang dapat. We in the DOH has a dedicated and professional organization we're motivated by nothing more than the desire to address a severe public health burden posed by the perennial threat of dengue. And I think to an extent, we were successful. Maybe if there was no change in the medical advisory from, it's not actually a medical advisory. If Sanofi did not request a change in labeling, because that is what actually happened, the DOH organization would be heralded as heroes in addressing the dreaded dengue illness which yesterday remains without any specific cure. Nung nagkaroon ng bakuna sa hepatitis, eh di po ba winakwak yung DOH? Bakit yung mayayaman meron? Bakit yung may hirap wala? Yung nagkaroon ng cervical cancer vaccine, bakit mayayaman meron? Bakit pang publiko wala? Rabies, dalawa lang ang binibigay na libre ng DOH, iba pinapabayaran. Lahat po yan, inuna namin at ginawang libre. Your Honors, we are hoping that this would really be investigated at makita po kung ano po ba talagang nangyari under the circumstances and given the prevailing facts, I empathize with our health workers. Naiintindihan ko pa, Ma'am Iris Alpay, ako rin po ay nababagabag. Hindi po yung sinasabi niyo pong nakakatulog po ba ako. Nung nabigla po ako sa request for, akala ko kasi nung una statement, the first thing that I did was call my counterparts in Brazil. At ang ikinagulat ko, iba yung kanilang reaksyon at iba naman yung ating reaksyon. Ganun rin po sa ibang mga bansa. What, 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 what makes me wonder, Your Honor, is that the other 19 countries did not suspend the vaccine. Kaya nga po ang tinatanong ko, dapat talagang magsalita ang ating mga international and local experts. With that, Your own Honor, we are hoping that the international medical experts will soon clear the air to allay the fears of the public because the longer it takes for them to come out, the longer the agony is there for us. 
I am not pointing fingers at others. Kung sakasakali pong sa investigasyon nyo, Your Honors, eh meron po akong command responsibility as secretary of that time. I welcome and I will fully answer whatever it takes at re-respetuhin ko po yung inyong mga desisyon. But besides for me to say, wala pong ibang hinangain ang Department of Health kundi yung mga ospital na napupuno, yung mga batang nagkakasakit na wala kang maibigay na gamot, nagbigay kami ng allocation sa PhilHealth, palobo ng palobo, pero wala pa rin kaming maibigay na sagot. Moreover, Your Honor, ano ang naging problema sa dengue? Kung dati-rati ang dengue, ordinaryong sakit lang, tag-ulan lang, ang dengue umiba siya. Naging bawat ataraw, bawat semana, bawat buwan, at ang pinakamasakit, yung iba walang lagnat, walang rashes, nagkakaroon ng malaking komplikasyon. What was very important in, with us is that when we conferred in January 2016 with the World Health Organization in Geneva, tinanong ko yung unang tanong. Ito po bang sinasabi nilang ADE na tingnan niyo po ba? Ang sagot nila sa akin, kaya nga po gagamitin lang siya doon sa mga bansang laganap at hindi siya nationwide, subnational, ibig sabihin pipiliin mo lang yung talagang matataas. And I asked them, pero sa amin po, 200,000 lang ang nagkakadengge. At ang sagot po sa akin, ang dengue po, hindi lahat ng dengue may sintomas. And I asked, we all asked. And the answer was, those who develop symptoms is only 20 to 25 percent. Karamihan na nagkakadengge, e walang sintomas. Kaya the moment they get a second infection, it's almost always fatal or very severe. Kaya nga po ang sabi sa amin, Look at the reduction in hospitalization, that's 80%. Look at the reduction in severity of 93%. Your Honors, sana po, bilisan na ng ating strategic advisory group of experts and the World Health Organization to come up and clear the air. But for the meantime, let us trust our people in the Department of Health. Wala po sila, wala po kami ibang hinangad, kundi ang kapakanan ng bawat Filipino. Nung sinabi ni Ma'am Iris Alpay, nagalit na galit siya dun sa health worker. Ilang doktor po ba ang pumapayag maging rural health physician? Ilang doktor po ba ang humaharap? Pakinggan po natin ang parte niya. Huwag po natin siyang laitin. Naiintindihan ko po Ma'am Iris ang nararamdaman niyo. Pero baka naman ang sinasabi niya is tingnan natin ng mabuti ang sitwasyon ng bata. Hindi niya sinasabing, I am not sure I was not there. But for me, This is a situation where we all have to unite, look at the bottom line of this, give it to the DOH because they are the authority, and let Sanofi do the explaining. If they need to answer, they really have to. If I need to answer, yung po eh haharapin ko ng buong buong buo, kasi po yam po eh naging decision ng buong departamento. Maraming salamat po, and I will always be here for any call, any meeting.